Okay, thank you very much. The IG report just came out, and I was just briefed on it. And uh, it's a disgrace what's happened uh, with respect to the things that were done to our country. It should never again happen to another president. It is uh, incredible, far worse than I would have ever thought possible. And it's, uh, it's an embarrassment to our country. It's dishonest. It's, uh, it's everything that a lot of people thought it would be, except far worse. So I'm going to get some very detailed briefing, but briefings, but they, uh, they are uh, — it's a very sad — it's a very sad day when I see that. Very sad day when a lot of people see that. They had known nothing. It was concocted. And you say what you want. That was a, a — probably something that's never happened in the history of our country. Well, they fabricated evidence, and they lied to the courts, and they did all sorts of things to have it go their way. And this was something that uh, we can never allow ha to happen again. The report, actually, and especially when you look into it and the details of the report, are far worse than anything I would have even imagined. What they were doing and what they would have done if I didn't make a certain move, a certain move that was a very important move, because it would have been even worse, if that's possible. And they might have been able to succeed. This was an overthrow of government. This was an attempted overthrow. And a lot of people were in on it. And they got caught. They got caught red-handed. And I look forward to the Durham report, which is coming out in the not-too-distant future. Uh, it's got his own information, which is this information, plus, plus, plus. And it's an incredible thing that happened, and we're lucky we caught him. I think I'm going to put this down as one of our great achievements, because what we found and what we saw, uh, never, ever should this happen again in our country. Some wonderful, brilliant students are with us, and we're going to be having a big session in a little while. As President, I'm fighting every day.